This is Nefertiri. She is our new little kitty. Another rescue. We found her lost and abandoned and unloved and therefore a very good thief. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, she stole half of a scotch egg and now is proceeding to poop it everywhere like the demon spawn that she is and she's just not low pan over low pan now dead hello and welcome to reading challenge number 33 today we're going to be talking about the fractal prince by Hanu Rajanami now if you know anything about Hanu Rajanami you'll know that he's got a PhD in quantum physics so as you can imagine he puts all that knowledge in to this trilogy. Now the trilogy is composed of the Quantum Thief, the Fractal Print and the Causal Angel which I'm currently about halfway through. I'm going to briefly, briefly talk about the Quantum Thief just to get you up to speed on where we are when we enter the Fractal Print. Um, in the Quantum Thief we have our protagonist Jean Le Flambeau, he's a bit of a raconteur gentleman thief, basically a jerk, and he's trapped in the Dilemma prison because he tried to pull off the heist of the century breaking into the mind of the Maelstrom. He is rescued by someone called Miele. She's an Urtian and she has a spider ship called Pahonan. And she's sent there by Josephine Pellegrini. The Pellegrini is one of these super beings. Um, everyone in Rajanami's worlds is capable of sort of like copying themselves and touching other people's memories. And they live in virtual worlds and virtual realities. There's a lot of playing with matter and energy and reality, etc. Um, but the Pellegrini is one of these super beings. They're playing this like huge game trying to one up each other all the time. And um, she sends Miele to break him out of the Dilemma prison and offer him his freedom in return for his completion of the heist that he failed that got him into the prison in the first place. So he has to go to Mars to find his memories because he left them there. Yeah, I know, it's strange. All of them are, but they're so cool. Needless to say, things go terribly wrong and he leaves Mars with only two things, the knowledge that he needs to go to Earth and a memory box that's kind of like a Chinese puzzle box. And uh, yeah, in a lot of trouble. Hi there, it's later. I have a cat on the bed now. Hmm. Um, had to stop, school run. Anyway, to continue with the Fractal Prince. It continues directly on from the Quantum Thief and finds Miele and Jean on the Pahonan trying to open the puzzle memory box. And there's something inside it that they need. Um, inside the memory box is a via and in the via trapped within the via is a Simangaru, another one of those ultimate beings. And um, there's a dual storyline in this one. Of course, they're going to Earth. And so we follow a character on Earth called Tawadud, um, living in sort of a futuristic uh, Middle Eastern city and she's awesome. I loved her. Now I can't say too much about what goes on in this because it gives a lot away. Suffice it to say they're still fighting against the same forces that they were in the Quantum Thief, still very much working for the Pellegrini reluctantly. Um, well, M Miele's still working for the Pellegrini reluctantly and Jean is still trying to do what he was tasked to do in book one. There's something hidden out in the desert that Jean needs in order to complete his mission. And the character that we meet on Earth and who we follow and who ends up sort of unknowingly working with Jean, and that's all I'm going to say, um, she is just brilliant. Tawadud is amazing. She's trying to redeem herself in her father's eyes and this is how she gets drawn into the whole thing and someone very high up and important is murdered and it all gets pretty hardcore. Ends sort of the same way as the quantum thief in that everything that could go disastrously wrong does. So there's a lot of cool stuff in here. A lot of very, very cutting edge ideas, some awesome science fictional concepts. The story remains far more coherent in this. I felt like in the quantum thief, the story came a little bit unglued at the two thirds mark. The ideas sort of went firing off in all directions all the way through, but toward the end it felt like the ideas were just consuming everything else. Whereas in this one, everything feels far more coherent all the time. Didn't take away from the enjoyment of reading The Quantum Thief at all. Not one little bit, loved it. I would highly recommend that you read The Quantum Thief and The Fractal Prince. They are brilliant, very, very difficult books. Um, contextually, all the stuff that's in there is on the whole easy to figure out. Um, well, easy if you're used to science fiction, less easy if you're not, but I find most of it pretty easy to figure out. There are some things I'm like, what? But, you know, 
I don't have a PhD in quantum physics so there are gaps in my knowledge and yeah <laughs> sometimes I'm a bit what but still very much absorbed and these are awesome so that's that fractal prints awesome read it fantastic and the quantum thief and I'll be talking about the causal angel next week until then thank you for watching